Hello and welcome back to episode 47 of Minecraft Ultra Hardcore. So last episode we got our hand on these beacons. I have what's at 15 more to put up. And you know, before I go on and start this episode, I really do think we need to get these down and placed all over the place and preferably buried. And then, you know, maybe while I'm at it, I should go ahead and find like a resource pack. Actually, no, I was going to say I should find a resource pack to get rid of the beacon beams, but I I'll think about doing that after I actually see what they look like. So let's just go ahead and start today off by placing down all that I have and, and just see where it gets us. So I'm going to go ahead and hope that the wiki was correct and they're going to be laid out something like this. So there's like that guy right there and then from, I mean not from the beacon, but from the, from the block next to it as per the wiki, there is a 50 block radius, but it's like a, it's not necessarily a radius. It's like a rectangular, how did, how did they describe it? Like a square column that extends all the way up. So since it's square, I should be able to have a square grid instead of having to do something funky with circles. So it would go out to this block. And then right here is where the edge would switch over to the other beacon. So then it would be 100 blocks in between here and the next one. And that's that's where each beacon will go. And then I'll just array this across everywhere that I live. Hopefully I got it right. And hopefully, I, <laughs> hopefully I, I understood them correctly whenever they said as a square column. I do not want to have to mess with circles. It would not be fun. Uh oh gamers, we have a tad small, very little uh, insignificant issue that's actually a little bit more significant than I thought it would be. So if you take a look here, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven beacons. Not nine. I did not make a three by three grid. And that's because I, uh, well, I don't have the chest in me, but if I come over here, there is a total of no iron in that chest. And there is no iron in that chest or that chest or, or any of these to my knowledge. I'm pretty sure I haven't checked the upper ones, but the, how, when, when on earth did they make it all the way to the top? Holy cow. Anyways, yeah, I'm completely out of iron blocks, except for like a couple that I put in my safekeeping chest, but I don't want to, I don't want to touch those in there. So yeah, I didn't think the day would ever come, but building the beacons really did me in. I used up all of my iron. I'm out and I'm starved for more because I have nine more beacons to set up. I was only able to set up six. I was able to set up less than half. I need more than twice as much iron as I I have accumulated throughout almost this entire series. So that's a little bit of an issue, but it's not something that we really, really need to worry about right now because I was able to cover a large portion of the important areas pretty much like if you, if you follow my, my teeny little, my teeny little dot of a cursor right there, pretty much we have like just about that whole area and not that like that area covered with beacons and that's a pretty huge area i'm i'm okay with that and i think i'll be able to live with it I, i'm not going to be working on that guy over there just quite yet and i do have the base of a beacon set up down here i really need to light this area yeah this one is almost completely done and once i finished him how, how far will he go all right he'll make it to about somewhere over here which is not like the best it could it could be better but once you once i get a couple and start building him i think it'll be pretty easy i think to start regenerating my health once i start working on the interior of this guy you know once i get around there i, I should have significantly more iron i should be able to stretch it all the way over there ah oh, dang it it's raining oh, I, don't, I didn't want this when i was recording this clip anyways i'll do it i'll do it anyways have fun youtube compression i will say though that the beacons are spaced out a bit further than i kind of pictured they would be in my head and honestly, I'm not, I don't, I don't hate the way they look. I think it's actually okay. We'll see how I feel about it in the future, but I think for now, I'm, I'm just perfectly fine with leaving them as they are. I don't think they actually look that bad. Anyways, now that the beacon project is over with and done with to the extent that I can do it right now, it is time we move on to what I wanted to do today. And that is, if you take a look at this day counter up here, 1898, we are 102 days away from the, the 1000, no, 2000 episode mile mark. And it takes me roughly 50 days per episode, it, it feels like, to do each one. And so if, if we take a look over here, I had two things that I really wanted to finish before I got to the next like 1000 day milestone. One of them was this guy once I started him up. And the other one is finishing the forest. I wanted to finish this before I was done. So for today, I am going to spend as much time as I can working on this section of the forest. Ideally, I get it done this episode. Will it happen? Probably not. Will it be enough to fill as much of the episode that I, as I want it to? Also, almost definitely not. We'll, we'll see what happens. If we take a look at the stores right here, I have not not nearly enough spruce to actually start going right now. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just tear down a bunch of spruce, get a bunch more leaves. Also, I'm really curious, where is the times mine? What is this? What is the spruce set up right now? Fifty-six thousand. That's a <laughs> pretty big number.
Okay, trees gathered, or trees, no, not trees, leaves gathered. I have I have a bunch of spruce. They kind of they spilled out more than I'd want them to. But I think my plan for filling in this area is just, hello, really, hello, little guy. What are you doing there? And since it's not huge, it's not like huge, huge, it's pretty freaking big. I think I'm just going to, oh, hey, there's another one. I think I'm just going to go in and just put in the logs first and cover this whole area and hope I have enough logs. And if I don't have enough logs, I think that's just an excuse to go and get more leaves because I don't think I actually have enough to fill in everything. I, I mean, I have a lot, but I don't think I have enough. Welcome back, Jax here. So after another long section, about an hour plus, we have all of the logs in and I don't, honestly, I don't think I've seen this many of the, the trunks and the branches at a time so far. I don't, I don't like the way they look. I do not like the way they look bare. Hopefully I can get these all covered tonight, like, you know, with whatever time I have so I don't have to like look at them at all in the future. But uh, frankly, I don't think I have enough time to finish all of them, but I'm, I'm gonna do my best. So now it's time we go in and we put in all of the stairs and the, the, where's the slab? Where's the slab? Stairs and slabs. Where the, and, and the slabs onto these guys. All right, now we do that. Hello gamers and welcome back. So we we got a lot more work done. We got the top guys in. I don't have the bottom guys in yet, but you know, this is uh, this. Why is my armor on? How did that happen? This is all I can do. This is all I can do. I can't. I can't do this anymore. I can't. I can't keep going. I'm so. T I'm so tired. It's so late. This is so boring. And if I if I wanted to start on the bottom part, it, this would this would probably go till like 3 a.m. I have to wake up at like 8 tomorrow so I can start doing other work. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't do it anymore. I'm ending the episode right here. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and do my best within the week to try and get as much as I can done in on this because frankly I don't like the way it looks very much. It's cool, right? It's it's kind of neat having all the trees around here. And I did I did have and I do still have. A lot of fun let me see if I can get the jump like first try running around okay yeah that didn't work hold on <sighs> okay yeah I have a lot of fun just running around the tops of these trees and it kind of it makes me want to make an area of my world where maybe this is how you get around you have to run along like the tops of trees or something like this to get from location to location because it's it's really fun I really enjoy just just going I don't know, it kind of gives me the idea to just make a whole area where the whole point of the area is to just make it hard to get around and you have to do like funky movements to get to where you want to go. I, I don't know, that's just a thought. It's just something that I thought about while I was doing this. We'll put that on the back back burners because it's not going to get done for a very long time, but it's, it's fun while I'm here. And then, you know, if you fall like that, I don't know, something happens. Maybe I just die. Maybe just drop myself into, into the void and then, and then, and then... Yeah, let's not think about that. Anyways, yeah, thanks y'all very much for watching. I'm ending it right here because I, I just, I want to get this done. I want to go to bed so bad. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.